I'm Susie Lordy. I'm the founder and president of a 501c3 here in Massachusetts called 24 Hour Power Inc. We do recovery graffiti events all over Massachusetts, young and old alike. Um, this night in particular is, is a huge deal for us. We are broadcasting live from Buffalo Wild Wings at the Westgate uh, area here, 501 Westgate Drive in Brockton, Massachusetts. And we have been so fortunate to have a relationship with this particular Wild Wings. Um, they've let us come here the first Wednesday night of every single month for the past year, right? We have been here from 6 to 8 p.m. since last December, every Wednesday night, every first Wednesday of the month. And we are able to bring kids, adults, um, we have free art that goes on here, free fellowship, free fun. It's just such an awesome staple to this community. And we're so lucky to be here. And we're so glad you joined us. Thanks for coming. And there's plenty of art for little kids to do. Um, they can bring home reindeer food tonight. They can do a lot of drawings. The adults tonight are going to be drawing big banners for actually Braintree Manor where we bring recovery graffiti too. And we also have a little craft fair going on at the same time. Um, right here we have t-shirts and, and little trinkets and, and memorable items that people in recovery have, have come forward, donated and, and made for us. And that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So if you'd, if you'd like to buy a little something, that would be great. Um, but mostly, just stick around and see what this is all about and we hope to see you next month. And uh, we also have some really special things going on here besides this, believe it or not. We have the Plymouth County Sheriff, Joe McDonald, and the Plymouth County District Attorney, Tim Cruz. They're both here tonight and they're going to share with you a very special sh announcement that they're going to make in a couple of minutes. We have Life on Life's Terms broadcasting live. We have Ty Hunt in recovery that's going to do a little song for us here. Um, it's just, this is where it's at, man. And, and, it's, and this is where it's at the first Wednesday night of every month. Um, if you're ever interested in coming, all are welcome, okay? We'd love to have you. Himself ...that what he was looking for the hardest and what he wanted the most was already inside of him. He just didn't know how to bring it out. They say I'm crazy, they say I'm crazy, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I was sent for you. They call me crazy, like I'm Jesus, maybe I'm crazy for thinking I'm Kennedy too. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Crash Bandicoot, Peekaboo, a miracle, he made it out that vehicle. Forgive more to love more, the kingdom of God at hand. Yeah, I broke my neck. Yeah, I was special ed. Yeah, the gun jam found overdose in my bed. Yeah, I'm still alive and connected with the dead. Talk to him every night. Chills run through my head. What would you call it? You call it. You an alcoholic. Cause and he did. I can still feel his soul legging me on. In the zone, writing a song while he bobbing his head, dog. Go ahead and say I'm psychologically off. Walking through Needle Park, speaking the word of God. Coppin' like Jesus, build you up from the bitter ends. Give you clothes and water while I murder your cigarettes. Handing out pamphlets that read, Am I an addict? Fetty plug, mean mugging like I'm stealing his wallet. If I die at an early age, just remember to love. No matter what, from the pearly gates sent from above. Yup, they say I'm crazy. They say I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I was sent for you They call me crazy, like I'm Jesus Maybe I'm crazy, but thinking I'm Kennedy too Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Crash Bandicoot Peekaboo, a miracle, he made it out that vehicle Forgive more to love more, the kingdom of God at hand Of the unborn the Pledge of allegiance, salute to the soldiers for my freedom in the land of the slaves, it's the home of the brave. I don't tell boy no more. I don't tell girl no more. I don't get high no more. I pray that my nieces and nephews know to say no to the devil, oh Lord. God give me strength for these demons I'm fighting. Back as a young and they call me a Viking. Horns on my head with a hook like Mike Tyson. Damien Black Sheep is a white kid Illuminati. Got a hold of your body, but I ain't making no noise. You could change the game, give birth to a blessing, but I ain't making no noise. Get with the program, it works if you work it, but I ain't making no noise. Oh boy, shorty could be on the cover of Playboy. She my pride and joy, a decoy for the dope boy. Mmm, yeah. 
Hi, my name is Jim Frazier. I am a community outreach reentry specialist for the Plymouth County Sheriff's Department. Uh, Sheriff McDonald created a program extending reentry services out into the community, and we are based in the Brockton Mayor's Office in City Hall. Uh, we're, it's basically a continuation of reentry services supporting um, people as they reenter society, hoping that they go out, make better decisions. Um, access the services we provide from employment to um, to medical appointments to substance abuse treatment um, pretty much anything reentry related we're out there um, providing these services um, so it should go a long way to reduce recidivism making it safe for communities and um, hopefully it's a, a big plus for Brockton going forward hi everybody we're back here live at Buffalo Wild Wings in Brockton at the Westgate area here and we're celebrating our one year anniversary here at Buffalo Wild Wings in their dining room. We've got recovery art going on for little kids, for medium kids, for, for old kids, for young adults, you name it. Come on down. We're always here the first Wednesday night of every single month and they're so kind to us here. The wait staff take really good care of us. And it's just, sometimes it's the only time you get to go out to eat once a month and hang out with people in recovery and enjoy free fun fellowship. It's awesome. So, you know, you don't have to be a super artist to come. Any level is great. And we're more than happy to show you how to do different things if you'd like to learn. And I'm really excited tonight because on our one year anniversary, We've got the big guys here. Um, we've got Plymouth County Sheriff Joe McDonald, Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz, and together they have um, what's called the Plymouth County Drug Abuse Task Force, and it's made such a difference to so many people's lives in Plymouth County. And now, you guys, it's making a huge difference in ours because they're coming together with us. and. Um, well, so it's a pretty cool partnership, and I'm going to let them take it from there. I'm going to start crying, so here I go. Well, don't, don't, run, don't run away, Susan. No. We want you to stand here right with us. Yeah. And if you start crying, I'm a sympathetic crier, so I will too, so please oh, don't. Uh, you know, it's, it's a real pleasure for us to be here. You know, uh, as you correctly point out, there are so few places, I think, that you can go uh, to meet with like-minded people and have a great sober night out and some good food, some good fellowship and some fun. I'm looking at these kids. I see them. They're having a great time. It just uh, it makes it all worthwhile. I know we're here for something uh, pretty special tonight. You know, we had a while back, and I know you were instrumental in helping us get this off the ground, our Battle of the Badges. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the uh, bowling tournament that we had. I went there. I know that uh, uh, the Mark Vasconcelos, the... Uh, Photographer from the Enterprise got a few pictures of me throwing gutter balls. Oh! Uh, did you grow, did you bowl that day, Tim? I, I threw a couple balls in the gutter. Myself. Okay, yeah. Not I'm not wow. a great I'm not a great bowler, but I think I'm a pretty good sheriff, or I like to think so. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, we were able to with uh, a couple guys from our office as well, our program staff, specifically Jim Frazier and Derek Webb. Uh, they did a wonderful job. We raised some money that day, and and. Uh, some of that grant money's coming back to you, Susie. Oh I, man! I, I'm so I'm thrilled that that's the case. I you know I was thinking about you know what I might say when we came over here about this, and uh, I, I really I'm thrilled that it's you. One of the most impressive things that I think uh, occurs to me every time I see you is the level of energy <laughs> that she brings to all of this. She is you know I I remember I took some science classes in high school and in college, and I learned that. Uh, Nuclear fusion was probably the, the most powerful energy source in, in the universe, you know, the sun. But I have to say this, that was before I met you. So I think you are somewhere, uh, I'll refer to you as the sunshine lady. Aww. Because I think you, oh, uh, you burn that bright. And uh, it, it really, it helps other people. And I'm so glad that, uh, that I can help you. And just the work you do when I see you help everyone else. So thank you for everything you do. You know, Joe, you showed up at our very first event. I mean, here we were at, at the Sandpaper Factory in Rockland back a year ago, June, right? I mean, nobody even knew what recovery graffiti was going to look like. And you were there mingling with everybody. It was awesome. Well, thank and you. then the first time we did something 
with a medical facility, was South Shore Medical Center's event, and then we got District Attorney Tim Cruz there hanging out with us all day. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that because the idea is we want the kids to not be afraid of, of these guys, right? We want them to realize that, you know, they're all here to help us, all right? We're all in this together. This isn't, you know, oh, um, you know, them against us. This is all of us working to end the opioid crisis however we can do it, man. And something like this, sure, we build it, but they came. You know what I mean? Like, the kindness of Buffalo Wild Wings to just let us come here was unbelievable. And, and you know, honestly, the way it went down was we said to them, you know, you, you've donated food to a couple of events. I mean... How, how do we repay you? Can we make a logo for you or something? And, and um, the general manager was just like, no, why don't you just come here every month and, you know, do some do some recovery out in the dining room. And, you know, we'll, we'll set you up. And honest to God, a year later, wow. we've been here for the past 12 wow. months. It's a staple. It cool. really is. I keep using that word, but it's true. People know first Wednesday of the month you can come here. And we're going to be here. And, and you can do some free art with us and hang out and bring your kids and it's just it's a party and, and and everybody brings more friends and it grows each time so we're all blessed wow. we, right? we are and I, I want to give the microphone over to Tim yep you're up Mr. I'm up Bruce. all right I'm up <laughs> well I, I just I, I'll be brief but I just want to thank you know Susie and I want to thank Buffalo Wild Wings for putting this on uh, we, you know we met Susie a while ago more than a year back and we're dealing with some real issues here in our county we've been very lucky I think to have a lot of really good groups, agencies, and individuals understand that the that the sheriff's department, the district attorney's office, we can no longer be in our just traditional roles of sheriffs and law enforcement or prosecutors. We have to do more, and I think that from our task force, from which Susie and the recovery group has been such a tremendous part of, and allowing us to work together with them and helping people who are, are really at that 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 moment that they needed to most. We have to overcome so many challenges. We have to overcome the stigma of the problem that's going on out there. We have to make sure that we can help the people that we can help, get them the resources that we can get them, make sure at the same time the people who are killing people by selling fentanyl and car fentanyl are held accountable. But just as importantly, we have to help the drug endangered kids, the kids who are losing their parents to this, who are unfortunately going to be suffering from adverse childhood experiences. The only way that happens is by an entire community working together. Plymouth County has pulled together from the task force, from Plymouth County Outreach, from Plymouth County Hope, from all the various facts groups, from 24-hour power. What they're doing out there is making a difference in people's lives. And if there's some small part that we can do to go out there and continue to do that, we're going to do it. And so I'm thankful to be here tonight. I'm thankful for everything that you have done. And we're going to continue to work together to make sure that we can save people's lives. I think it's making a difference, and we're going to continue to do it. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bitter ends better at first. Who would have knew you'd carry that cure? Climb out of a hearse. Carry the message, but bury that curse. Becky put the Betty on the whopper. Now we all want to stop her from scoring like goalies with the soccer ball. Ooh, see me chasing waterfalls. Hope shot for the whole block. Oh, God. That White House turned into a dope spot. Skip a step, running in like a fireman. You never met a goon like Brian Donovan. Thank you. Come again. Kicking over Sanhedrin's. Right now, I might be channeling an alien. I can feel the angels in here. I can see the angels in here. Yeah. I can feel the angels in here, I can see the angels in here, yeah Rise up for the man in the mirror, yeah, that's the man of the year Against the grain, we dance in the rain Change the way, you look at life just for today, yeah Just for today, yeah, just for today, yeah I can feel the angels in here, I can see the angels in here, yeah Rise up for the man in the mirror, yeah, that's the man of the year Against the grain, we dance in the rain change the way you look at life just for today yeah just for today yeah just for today yeah well hi everyone I'm Mike Brady the state senator from Brockton in the second Plymouth Bristol district which goes from northeast and through Brockton all the way to Hanover down to Plimpton and I want to thank Susie and congratulate her on a one-year anniversary and this is what it's all about recovery graffiti and I went to a great event at the um, Eagles in yeah. Rockland a couple months back. We had a great band from Hanover that are good friends of mine. They played, 
and she is doing a tremendous job helping out people with recovery through graffiti and through artwork. And it gets in mind on other things. And this artwork is unbelievable. I'm just looking at a picture. I wish I could show you later. It's an eyeball and what a beautiful painting. And I'll tell you, we'll bring it over here. Look at this. And this is beautiful artwork. And I'll tell you, these guys can come become professional women and men, professional artists, and make a living at it too. But it also gets them focused on other things. And Susie has done such a tremendous job. I know DA Tim Cruz is here and the Sheriff Joe McDonald. They've helped to get this program going. We've got to fund more through the state budget and through the county budget. We have funded some money for opiate addiction, but we've got to do more because the road to recovery is so important and it helps alleviate crime and other things and gets people back to work living a good life. And, you know, nobody wants to be put away for an addiction problem and they're finally addressing it in the Commonwealth, but we've got to do more. And a lot of us have gone through some tough times and suffered. So I'm here to support whatever Susie can do. There's another group coming from Gosnell that's coming here tonight. They take out people for dinner. They teach them how they can go to dinner without even touching a drink of alcohol. So it's all about making the right decision and positive decisions. So God bless you, Susie. Thank and you, Mike. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. And we this, appreciate and this it. this hard work is tremendous. So yeah. we're here to support you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Lift me up. Lift me up when I'm back in town. Give it up, give it up, let me see you crack a smile, give little man a pound, ow, ow, how you do that, wow, yeah, hun, it's going down, hey, what's up, where I been, I been up, out the bitter ends, bitter ends, bitter ends, out the bitter ends, boop, 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 bitter ends, this is where I been, this is where I be Kingdom come, where I'm from, originally Plenty of fish in my DMB, I'm sick of the sea Demons whisper to me on the rag like If I cut off my ear, now you know it's a bingo Get to the dough, it's about to blow g -g Get to the dough I'm my own boss, build you a temple of hearts like the guy on the cross if you're sicker than most, holla at me or get you some And die like the rest, live and direct, I'm defying the odds Dive in a marsh pit with poison ivy And brawl for the ball with the ball, the bang, the bang, the giggity, get you with God Hickory dickory dog, they think I'm tripping my Huh? Woo woo woo, where you been? Bitter ends? Woo woo woo, where you been? Bitter ends, woo woo woo, where you been? Still in the bitter ends? No need to pretend, hop in the boat with the fish man. Let's go, lift me up, lift me up, when I'm back in town. Give it up, give it up, let me see you crack a smile. Ooh. Ow, ow, how you do that wow? Yeah, hun, it's going down. Hey, what's up, where I been? I've been up, out the bitter ends, bitter ends, bitter ends, out the bitter ends, b -b -b bitter ends. I'm sorry, uh, this is kind of all new to me. My name is Lee. Uh, I'm a person in long-term recovery from alcoholism and drugs, uh, mostly alcohol. Uh, I'm also a coach at the Phoenix Boston. Uh, I've been clean and sober a little over four and a half years, and uh, I'm also an artist in recovery as well. I like uh, painting, drawing, uh, I spray paint murals, I like doing things with Susan here. Uh, I've been to a number of her events, and I'm also a CrossFit coach and a rock climbing instructor and a kickboxing instructor in Boston at the Phoenix Boston. Uh, we provide free programming for people with 48 hours of recovery time. You can enroll at thephoenix.org and you're basically welcome to attend our events for free if you can maintain your sobriety. Uh, it's been a big piece of my puzzle. It's helped me get better quality in my sobriety and my recovery time. Um, I'm really happy to be clean and sober these days. It's, uh, it's been a great time. I'm looking forward to another day and um, another event. And I just hope uh, I can spread the word a little bit about what we do and about what happens when you do stay in recovery. Your life does get better. 
And I guess that's really what I'm trying to say is there is a, a lot of hope and there's a lot to do without drugs and alcohol, a lot. And it's a lot of fun. So thanks for, uh, thanks for listening. I appreciate your time. And this is my piece here on the back. And uh, peace out, man. 2-4. How's it going? My name is Joshua. And um, I've been working with 24-Hour Power for a couple months now. Uh, I got a good chunk of sobriety time. Um, under my belt and this really helps me to uh, have fun in sobriety um, it's a lot of work but organizations like this uh, give you something to look forward to as far as recreation goes and um, yeah I wouldn't know what to do without her so hi my name is Danny I'm one of the addicts in recovery I've been working with 24-hour power for about two months now um, I'm just really grateful to be a part of this organization um, um, I've been clean for two and a half years now and I'm just really grateful. Um, so a quote by Jack Cornfield is, uh, healing is a dimension of liberation and when we are in recovery we are all doing our own form of healing and that's what we do here with art. We are finding our own forms of liberation. Hi, my name's Liz, and I volunteer for 24-Hour Power as an artist, and Susan I met at a church, and she is a saint. She is a really wonderful person, and it's a really pleasure to work with her, and it's really humble to work underneath 24-Hour Power. It's a really, really, sorry, really great organization. Thank you. This is Ty Hunt with Susan Lordy. I love that woman. She's such a powerhouse, you know, with helping addicts, you know, in and out of recovery. Anybody's welcome at her events. She's just a beautiful soul. I'm in recovery myself. I have two years, five months, and 13 days clean today. Um, I'm in support of any addict that needs help, you know, reach out. Any Anybody who's inclined in any type of art even if you're not good at art you're welcome over here you can color something you know she's always doing um, blankets and shirts and giving stuff to the homeless um, I'm truly blessed to know Susan and be a part of 24-hour power events it's, it's it's just a dream come true getting clean and still being able to be a part of like the recovery community and do f fun stuff and Susan puts this stuff on. I met her over a year ago, and I think she was just getting off the ground then, but now, you know, there's just so many people that have come to these events and, uh, you know, seeing people smile and having fun. Um, I'm just grateful. That's all I got, thanks.